starting off using Almer's glue stick. I'll start applying it to my thick eyebrows. I've seen other YouTube videos of other YouTubers using this method to cover their eyebrows, but honestly, it didn't seem to work that good on my thick eyebrows. Now I'm using my beauty blender to apply some loose translucent powder to get rid of some of the stickiness left behind from the glue. I'm now making myself look like a ghost by applying white paint all over my face, neck, and the rest of my upper body. Now I'm going over with some pearl white. I'm just applying this a little here and there over the white base paint. I really like this pearl color. It just gives me a little shimmer and it's not just plain white. Now I'm going to be doing some contouring because right now I'm pretty plain and flat looking. You're going to want to contour as if you would any other day. Like make sure to get your temples underneath your cheekbones and underneath your chin so it doesn't look like you have a double chin. And I'm pretty much shading like my collarbones and anywhere where I want it to look sunk in. Now using one of my Morphe palettes, I went straight for a dark purple. I'm applying this purple to the lowest part of my upper eyelid and lower lid. I'm trying to make my eyes look smaller than they are, so I'm staying really close to the eye and avoiding going further up and also staying in the center of my upper lid and lower lid. And of course, now I'm just pretty much just blending in any um, outer edge so it doesn't just look just like a blob of purple. I'm also going to be using like an orangey reddish uh, eyeshadow and a black eyeshadow to also give me more of the Joker look. Okay guys, now this was just random. I had no idea what to use for my silver teeth. I had no grill to use, so I was like, hey, why not just use some foil paper? So uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory. I applied a little piece of to uh, foil paper, not toilet paper, <laughs> foil paper to the bottom and upper teeth. And I just pretty much just pinched in between the teeth to make it look more real. And that's it. Hey, it works for pictures. Obviously, you're not going to wear this all night. Now using my global red paint, I'm going to be painting on my sexy Joker lips. Now I just want to make my lips look a little wider so I'm just going to be going with the red paint out just a little further out from the corner of my lips. I'm also shaping my upper lip to look like my lower lip to give it more of a masculine look. Going back to my Bare Minerals Loose Powder, I'm going to be contouring my nose more. I wanted to give my nose more of a thinner look. By shading the sides of my nose, it's really going to give uh, the effect of a thinner nose. I'm also going to be darkening the creases of the side of my lips to make my cheeks stand out more and to give me more of a creepy look. I'm also going to be darkening the crease on my chin to make my chin pop out more. And I also wanted to add a chin dimple. I thought it would look really cool. Now comes the fun part because now we're going to be adding all of Joker's crazy looking tattoos. Like that scary looking J on his left cheekbone. Also that crazy scary looking star on his right temple. Don't forget that creepy line going down his right cheekbone. And this was super duper harder than it actually looks. So it was making me go crazy. So I decided to use a black eyeliner pencil. This um, actually helped me have a more steady hand. Mm -hmm. 
Once I was done writing damaged, I just went over it with a paintbrush to darken it up. Now using one of my favorite purples, I'm going to start painting on my glove since I didn't actually have an actual glove. But I don't worry about that because you could always paint on anything. To get rid of some of the brush strokes from the paintbrush, I just pretty much just got a sponge and just started dabbing more purple paint on my hand to blend in some of those brush strokes. Okay, now it's time to start adding some of the chest tattoos. I'm starting off with the tattoo with the playing cards and all of those ha ha ha's. Okay, now I have a really serious look on my face because this took tons of concentration. For some reason, I couldn't draw the cards down and it just took too much concentrating. It was making my head hurt. Also, I'm drawing in the banner and I'm darkening. I'm trying to darken the cards and the tattoo up, but I'm realizing I'm still going to have to go over it with a paintbrush to really darken the tattoo up. I'm also going to be shading in the banner to really make the banner stand out more and to not make it look so flat looking. Don't forget to draw on your ha ha ha's because Joker really loves to laugh a lot and come on who doesn't want a whole bunch of ha ha ha's on them this looks really scary and really cool Now let's not forget about his creepy little skull with a joker hat that he has on his right side of his chest. Now I'm going to make this really simple just like my player's cards and you know just doing like a simple skull with the eye sockets and the nose socket and just basic skull teeth nothing special. I'm also going to be adding the joker's hat. I'm also making this really simple, nothing special. Um, it's really hard to paint on yourself, especially when you're looking at yourself in the mirror. Everything is going to be a lot more difficult. So the easier, the more simpler, the better. But not least, I'm painting on a big mouth on my right hand. As you could see, I had already painted a little mouth on my left hand, but you didn't get to see that because my phone went dead. But it was actually pretty hard um, painting this mouth on because I'm not left-handed, so it was a pretty tricky, but I did my best. I simply use red paint to paint on the red lips, white paint to paint on the big fat white teeth, and some black paint to outline every tooth and paint the center of the mouth to make it look more realistic. And that's it guys!